Welcome back to week number two on our page turner series. This month, we are using our imagination to travel to worlds that we've read about in books. Speaking about books, what kind of books is this? The point of these books are all about perspective. Our perspectives are the ways that we see things. When we face bad things in our lives, or even when we hear the word evil, sometimes we even think that it's a hard thing to deal with, right? Because sometimes when we hear the word evil, it sometimes in our heads come up this idea that is big and almost hard to beat. But do you think God thinks the same way? No, because he's the most powerful one in the entire universe. Today's Bible story begins with our hero, Jesus, and some of his disciples coming down the mountain. But why is that important? Why is that important? It's because what happened in that mountain. You might remember the story when Jesus is on the mountain with his friends and his face and clothes start glowing like a lightning in the sky. Do you remember that story? Jesus' disciples had been sleeping, but not anymore. They were very wide awake because they just saw this amazing thing happening in front of their eyes. Then a cloud came down and surrounded Jesus and God's voice boomed from the cloud. So when they came down the mountain, they were faced with a problem that seems to be very, very hard. So let's watch our Bible story for today to know what I'm talking about. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Luke, chapter 9. Lots of people were coming to Jesus because he could do such amazing things. One day, a man came to Jesus with a very big problem. He told Jesus that something evil, that means really, really bad, was hurting his only son, and he didn't know what to do. He had gone to Jesus' friends, but they couldn't help. Jesus told the man to bring his son to him. As he came, everyone saw what the father was talking about. But evil, no matter how bad it seems, is no problem for Jesus. Jesus simply told the evil to go away and leave the man's son alone. And right away, the evil was gone and the boy was all better. Everyone was amazed. They thought evil was really powerful, but now they knew God is more powerful than evil. Okay, we know that sometimes the Bible is written in words that we need to help each other understand a little bit better, right? So let's talk about what happened in that story. A father came to Jesus, begging Jesus to heal his son, who was controlled by something that was causing the boy to harm himself and others as well. This something evil wanted to destroy him. This desperate father went to see Jesus' disciples as well. And Jesus' disciple felt somehow powerless on that situation. They couldn't help that man so much. The cool thing was that Jesus wasn't faced at all. In fact, Jesus basically said, Come on, guys, why don't you believe? We need to adjust your perspective. The father brought his son to Jesus and they all saw for themselves what this spirit could do. The boy was thrown to the ground and was out of control. But Jesus simply said, bad spirit, get out of here now. And the spirit that was tossing the boy around run off. The boy was healed and returned to his father. I'm sure everyone's jaws dropped right there when they saw what our hero could do. 
but it's not surprising to us, isn't it? Because we know that God is more powerful than anything. Let me ask you a question. Can you think of anything that is more powerful than God? No, we can't. God is greater than everything. But what about evil? Yep, God is greater than evil as well. Let's go over to our storybook to find out our big idea for today. Our big idea for today, guys, is that God is more powerful than evil. Can you say our big idea out loud in a count of three? Let's go. One, two, three. God is more powerful than evil. There comes a time in every hero's story when they feel defeated. They might think they couldn't overcome some challenges and they really feel lost. But instead of giving up, a hero that trusts God might say something like this that is written in Psalm 27 verses 1 to 6. Let's read it together. The Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger. So why should I tremble? When evil people come to devour me, when my enemies and foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek the most, is to live in the house of the Lord all days of my life, delighting in my Lord's perfections and meditating in his temple. For he will conceal me there when troubles come. He will hide me in his sanctuary. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. Then I will hold my head high above my enemies who surround me. At his sanctuary, I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy, singing and praising the Lord with music. The first lines in this psalm ask some questions that I think we all know the answer to. Who shall I fear? Or who shall I be afraid? What is the answer? You're right. We shouldn't be afraid of anyone or anything. Now, think of something that you're afraid of. Maybe you're afraid of spiders. Or maybe you're like me. I'm a little bit afraid of skating. What if you believed that God is more powerful than that thing? How would that change your perspective about it? That is right. Remember our big idea for today? God is more powerful than evil. And the good news is, is that God is by our side. So we don't need to be afraid because God is more powerful than evil. Now that we've learned that we don't need to be afraid of anything because God is by our side and God is more powerful than evil. So why don't you take some time this week to talk to your parents about this very big good news. Here are three questions that can help you get started on that conversation. What was happening with the boy in today's story? What did Jesus do for the boy? Read Psalm 27 verse 1. What words does the author of this psalm use to describe God? Why do you think it's easy to forget that God is more powerful than evil? All right, guys, I have to go. But before I do, let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for being by our side. We are so glad to have someone so strong on our side. It is amazing to know you are more powerful than evil, and we are so grateful for that. Help us to not feel defeated by all bad things going on around us. Please remind us that you are stronger than anything we might face and help us to trust and believe day after day. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. 
and everybody says amen all right guys now is the time to do something about what we've learned today if you are here on site with us now is the time to go with your teachers to your classrooms to do some cool activities but if you are online don't worry we got you covered ask your parents permission to go to our facebook page the link is just down here there you can download and print out the activities for today so that's it for me for today guys i see you next week bye